Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to draw the structure of oxygen gas and use it to determine if the molecule is polar or nonpolar. Let's get started. Oxygen gas is made up of two oxygen atoms. As a matter of fact, it's one of the seven diatomic elements. Each oxygen atom has six valence electrons. And since we have two of them, I'm going to multiply by two, and that gives us 12 valence electrons that we need to use up in our molecule. Now, drawing an outline of oxygen gas is going to be fairly straightforward because it's just two oxygen atoms bonded together. First, we'll just use a single bond, and that single bond is going to take up two electrons. So if we subtract that from what we have, which was 12, that gives us 10 more that we need to use up in our oxygen molecule. We can fill up the octets of the oxygen atoms using the 10 electrons. So I'm going to put 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 electrons on the molecule. So now we fill the octet for this oxygen atom because it has 8 electrons, but we still haven't satisfied the octet for the right oxygen atom. So we can fix that very easily by taking a pair of electrons from this oxygen atom and moving it here to create another bond. Now, both oxygen atoms have their octets filled, and this is what the Lewis dot structure for the oxygen gas would look like. Now, let's use this to find out if it's polar or not. Just like the six other diatomic elements, this is going to be pretty easy because we have two identical elements here, both oxygen atoms, and obviously they're going to have the same electronegativity values. That means they're going to share electrons evenly, and as a result, the oxygen gas molecule is going to be nonpolar. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.